Fuck. Queen Elizabeth the first. Like you could kill someone, call a cancer, they would bury the body with you. No Sagittarius are also batshit crazy. <laughs> 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 Hi, oh, welcome. This is my room. This is Hussein, your Arabic Big Mary, and I welcome you to my um, ugly ass vanity. So today's video is gonna be a little different. I am going to roast the signs, but I will not only be roasting them, I will also be painting my face, but not any paint. Oh no, I'm gonna get with a literal paint. The look is gonna be well, I'm painting my face as a clown. I mean, it's a Gemini season. <laughs> no, not because Geminis are clowns, but it's a Gemini season. This is an acrylic paint of intense color and coverage. Dries to a permanent stain finish paint film. Not suitable for children under age of three. Well, considering that I'm putting it on my face, I must be under three years old, cause who in the fuck is gonna do that? Another difficulty, I do not have my glasses so it the precision is gonna be very difficult and also i cannot see my mirror so let's start i'm gonna apply the paint oh my goodness oh that does not sound good let's start since it's gemini season what do i think about gemini i think oh i can't believe i'm doing this oh Oh, I'm doing it. Gemini, I think, is not like how people perceive them. I don't think they're fake, but they do come off as such. The Geminis that I have known would be all so cool with you and would message you, oh, I miss you and all that, but like you're not really friends. So to me, it's like, what's the right word? They're opportunists. They're some of the most adventurous people that I have met also. Like the Geminis that I have met, we're so fucking crazy. I went out with a Gemini who wanted to get a number of a girl. And his plan to do that was to act like he knew her. Like he literally went up to her and said, Hi, I cannot believe that you're here. How long have you been here? Blah, blah, blah. And I mean, poor bitch went with it. He was like, oh, I kept texting you, but you don't answer and all that. Like, fuck, <laughs> I look so white. Is this racist? Long story short, she fell for him because she felt awkward and weirded out like oh my god do i know this person poor bitch you know hint to all the people out there if someone comes up to you and they say you don't remember me say no just say no should i put it on my lip no i think that's a crime i'm gonna straight up cleanse my fucking face after this gemini's are extremely moody they're the type of moody that when they're mad they do not give a shit if you're happy oh my god i'm literally painting my beard Fuck. I'm afraid I'm gonna look more like the Joker because I'm not making my eyes white. But who gives a shit? Fuck, that's orange. <laughs> I don't think orange is my color. <laughs> Geminis love drama. They live, honey, for the drama. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. You know, the, like Queen Elizabeth the first. I look like her. <laughs> Geminis are so fucking messy. They're so petty. Like legit. Petty, petty bitch. Petty little Next up, Cancer. I think Cancers are one of those signs that I feel like they can never take a joke. Like, I find that they love to make jokes, but they can never in their life ever take the fucking joke. Like, they joke about you, it's all fine and dandy. You joke about them, how the fuck? Oh my god. How oh fucking dare you do this to me? I thought we were friends. You're so fucking mean. Uh. It ain't cute, Cancer. Don't do that. There are crybabies. That stereotype is 100% true. Grow up. Grow up. Part of growing up is to, to roll with the punches and they like to keep being punched. I love Cancers. They're sweet. They're really sweet people. They're true ride or dies. Like you could kill someone, call a Cancer. They would bury the body with you. Oh my god, I cannot see. I can't see at all. I look crazy. Guys, it's been a long time coming and finally it's here. I am finally over the edge. Next we have Leo. Oh my god. I have, I, well, I mean, I love Leo. I think they're fucking hot. What the fuck? I'm trying to do a star, but it's not working out. It's literally peeling off my face. That's bad. They are truly obsessed with themselves. Whether confidently or not, they talk about themselves, bitch. Like, they are some of the most insecure people that I've met. 
that did absolutely nothing. She's a crazy bitch. That's what the fuck I am. A crazy fucking bitch. And now we, we go to Virgo. I think Virgo is a great sign. You know, a lot of hate was directed towards Virgos after I have expressed that my, the Virgos that I have met have not been pleasant. Well, bitch, I, and I quote, put that these Virgos that I don't like and I said I do not like the Virgos that I have met, not Virgos in general. I said that Virgo in like general. I love them. As a sign, I am in love with Virgo. Under the same breath, I think Virgo along with Leo are very insecure, but their insecurity is not about them as much as about how they're doing something. I feel like Virgo always feel like they have something to prove, so they never truly go out there and do it because they feel insecure, and they always stick to what they know because you can't clock them when they are the best at doing something. But at the same time, they never do something new, so they're always known for that one thing and that one thing only. They generally love to talk behind people's back. They do not like confrontation. They're not confrontational people, even though they can handle the heat. I mean, don't get me wrong. Virgo will get down with the get down. They are, you know, the type of bitch to take a, a beef to the grave. So then we have Libra. So Libras are generally the most stereotypical sign out of all the signs, really. Like almost every Libra I have met have stereotypes about Libra. The only thing I can say about Libra without going really in in on Libra Sometimes being in the middle only makes you look like a weak bitch. And even though you do not want to look like one, your actions say that you are. And I just fucked it up on that side. That's all I gotta say about Libra, honestly, because I don't want to get too personal and make them cry over here. But before we get to Scarpia, let me show you the look because I'm gonna take it off. Um, this is the look. Clearly like a different type of clown, as we can see. Listen, if this shit don't come off, I'm gonna be in trouble. Oh, I mean that comes off, but what about this? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh. I feel like I'm cracking. So while we're doing this, you know, since we're talking about Scorpio, let's talk about the pain. Scorpios are like, addicted to emotions. I've never met as many people addicted to a feeling as Scorpios. Unconsciously, they're really into it. They always go back to that feeling of what brings the, those feelings. So you'll see Scorpios always hanging around with the same toxic people, doing the same bad habits. Those emotions bring up familiarity to them. You'll always meet a Scorpio that is up and around with toxic people. They make the worst friendships that I have ever seen in the entire Zodiac. They make the worst. And in the questions that I have in my messages, there is always a Scorpio talking about how to deal with toxic relationship, how can they overcome these things. Fuck, this is really painful, fuck. Next, we got Sagittarius. Now Sagittarius are also batshit crazy like Gemini. What differs their batshit craziness is unlike Gemini, they do not know they are batshit crazy. Delusion. <laughs> they usually make up the reality of how the world is based on how they feel feel and how they think. They are such kind of white and black kind of people. They really, really get under people's skins. They seem to have make enemies more than friends. I think it's just because they have those weird ways of communication and beliefs. I look like a reject of Santa Claus, bitch. They truly in their mind would not compromise. They Like people think Tauruses don't compromise. You have not tried to compromise with a fucking Sagittarius, bitch. I'm gonna take it off and come back because it's really painful. Ugh. Oh my god, finally. It took a couple of, you know, a cleanser and some scrubbing. Let's continue with Capricorn. Capricorn! Oh, oh, shit. Not again, ghost. Capricorn, I think they are the, probably the most detached. I know people say that uh, Aquarius is very detached, but to me personally, I believe that Capricorn is usually the most attached. They are the slowest to take charge, to control. Like, damn bitch, do something. They are horrible at communicating their emotions. Also, a lot of them are boring speakers. If you don't know this technique, 
this technique tightens your skin so you don't have lines like I'm not saying like bruise yourself bitch but like Oh, that sounded wrong. Next we have Aquarius. I think Aquarius is the most attention-seeking of all the signs. Like, I'm not sure. Like, I, I have met a lot of Aquariuses that, like, try their best to find a way for people to talk about them. They just love to be talked about. You know, they say that uh, Aquarius is, like, very righteous and activist and all that. I did not meet any of that. Most Aquarians that I have met and came through were really self-centered or close-minded or were really like a one point of view type of people. They were not really well-rounded people. They have Pisces. I love Pisces. Complimenting them now means I'm gonna talk a lot of shit later, but that is the truth, that is the tea. And I think they are emotionally open, but under the same breath, I, I don't wanna say it because I do not want to make it be real, but in the world of astrology, a lot of people that are like into it would say that they are the 30 year old guy playing video games, smoking weed, getting drunk, living in their parents' basement. You know, Pisces is like a dice roll. You can end up with someone like Steve Jobs, or Rihanna, or you can end up with Justin Bieber. I don't know what you're gonna say. Justin Bieber, duh. Justin Bieber, blah. Is he though? Like, I think he's dying out. If it wasn't for his celebrity friends, would he even be a hit? You know, this like such a huge accusation but you know according to several surveys and one that I'm currently doing at my tumblr page if you want to go there and check it out Pisces sons are the most likely to be addicted to things specifically alcohol and drugs and got nothing more to say Aries meh. wow Aries love to have what they can get they love it they love the chase they live for trying to get someone that say their parents said oh you you're not allowed to date. Like, they want to live that romance. Like, not just a romance, like a romance. But even more so, when someone is in the right place at the right time, they will be with them for a while, and then it would be like, this is going way too fast. But it's like, it's been like three years. Also, Aries is the top uh, to always argue to have the last word. Like, they never argue for middle, middle ground or understanding. They just argue for the sake of arguing. Hi. Sorry for the awkwardly cut. The camera died and this is like 12 hours later. So let's talk about Taurus. Taurus loves, loves themselves. I never met a Taurus that really hated themselves. We, because I'm also a Taurus if you didn't know. I mean, I don't know how to say it. We just love ourselves. Taurus doesn't like to lose. They do not like competition. They hate, hate with a passion, competition. Not because they're not competitive. They are competitive people. They, they, but when I say competition, I mean like people. And it comes from the fact that Taurus is kind of a, not kind of, they are a very jealous sign. So because they want, 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 they always want, it ends up creating this weird complex where like they always have to get what they want, which is good, but also bad. Yeah, that's it. I did the clown makeup, nearly fucked up my skin. That was fun. Yeah. Thank you so much guys for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you on the next one. What the fuck am I doing? Okay, bye.